Alright, this famous Steve Jobs quote is something that really resonates with a lot of people. And I know it really resonated with Nikias, who unboxed the iPhone while, you know, falling in the sky. And I'm not going to be doing that in this video. But let's keep that, you know, crazy enough to change the world type of idea in our heads for this video. Because I'm going to show you how you can actually use your iPad mini as a phone. And I know this is not going to be practical, but... You know, let's just talk about anyways, because maybe we're just crazy enough to try it. All right, so when it comes to using the iPad mini as your phone instead of maybe an iPhone, let's talk about some of the challenges that we have to try and find a solution for if we're going to actually do this. And that's going to be, you know, having data and making phone calls and texting which includes people who don't have iPhones and also iMessage. And unfortunately, when it comes to using the Apple Watch, there is no solution to use the iPad, at least not yet until Apple unlocks that for us. So let's just kind of take a deeper dive in how we're gonna solve each of these challenges that we need to overcome. So let's talk about what we need. One, we need either a cellular iPad mini with a data plan or a mobile hotspot that's connected to your data plan. And the reason why we need this is because we need to make these phone calls over data somehow. And we also need that connectivity wherever we go. We can't always rely on Wi-Fi because not everywhere we go has Wi-Fi. And also this way you can prevent yourself from connecting to an unsecure Wi-Fi network. Now next we're going to need Bluetooth headphones. And this may not make total sense right away, but let's just, you know, let's just wait and I'll, I'll explain this later. Now you're also going to need a Gmail account as well as the Google Voice app with an account that's set up and has a phone number associated with it. Google Voice is going to be the biggest key in getting your iPad mini to be functioning as a phone. Google Voice is a free service that you can use and it's gonna be free for anyone who has a Gmail account. Now with this app, you can get a phone number, a local phone number too, local to your area or whatever area you decide to choose. That could be your phone number to use. Now, if you wanna bring in your actual phone number, you can, and I've done this for many customers when I used to sell phones. I used to reserve their old phone numbers on a Google Voice account. And essentially you just have to pay $20 to get that number ported into Google Voice. And once it's ported in, all your messages and your phone calls will be basically forwarded to your Google Voice app. Now, when you think about taking a phone call, some of us answer the phone on speaker and some of us actually like to put the device up to our head and talk. And unfortunately, the iPad does not have a speaker like our phone does. So no matter what, any time you actually answer a phone call on your iPad mini, it's, it's going to be on speakerphone. And not all conversations are public conversations, right? And and we don't want you know anyone that were you know buying apples next to someone in a grocery store. We don't want them hearing our conversation all the time. So this is where those Bluetooth headphones come in. So now I know this is probably not going to be the most practical solution for a lot of people, and this is going to be for people who just want to test this out, people who just want to use their iPad Mini as a phone as an experiment. And there are going to be quite a few challenges you have to overcome and iMessage won't be associated with your phone number because your phone number is going to be on Google Voice and that is not a cellular number. And also on the iPad, you can't have a phone number attached to iMessage if it is going to be a, on a cellular plan. It is tied with your phone number coming from an iPhone. But if you do have people with iMessage and that you wanna contact in that way in FaceTime, you're able to do so because you also have your Apple ID and you also have those iMessage capabilities without the phone number. You just will get basically sending messages to people and instead of a phone number showing up on their end, it'll show up as an email. So now let's just take a look and see how this will be in practice. All right, as I already mentioned, Google Voice is the hub and the center of this whole experiment. You need it to make your phone calls and your text messages. So let's just take a look at the application and how it functions on the iPad mini. When you open it up, what you're gonna notice is that you're gonna have your call log on the left hand side and you're gonna have a suggested contact to call and you can also dial any number you want. And once you go ahead and dial in the number you want or you tap on the contact, it'll just call automatically and then it'll just go straight to the device and then you can end the call, mute the call, hold the call, all the options that you see there. Now also what you're gonna notice is that you can go to messages and actually create a new message and text anyone. So when you go ahead and text someone, it'll go ahead and just send it to them as a regular text message. And then we're gonna go ahead and test that out. So just kind of go out and see how this works in practice.
One thing that I love about using the iPad's iPad mini form factor is just typing. When you're typing and texting on a phone, the screen sometimes, you know, the buttons are really small, so you get a lot of uh, typing mistakes and whatnot. But on the iPad, because of the width of the iPad mini and just the screen size alone, typing on it is just super easy. And because you have to hold it with two hands, you can't really just try using it with one hand and the overall weight of it doesn't feel overbearing. And the way it's distributed, you know, quite proportionally throughout the whole product, it just feels very comfortable to type on. And I can type, um, and I really enjoy the typing experience when it comes to texting on this device. Now, if you're writing long emails, it might not be the best for it, but you also do have access to voice typing and even scribble with the Apple Pencil, which you know could be a useful feature right there. But overall, just, just texting with like, like a phone on this is just super fun and I really enjoyed that experience. So now relating back to that quote we were talking about in the beginning of the video, there are two words that stands out that would make this experiment work and that's going to be crazy enough. So if you're crazy enough to try this, then go ahead and try it and let me know what your experience is down in the comments below. So if you found this video helpful, if you found it useful, then make sure you hit that likes button and you subscribe to the channel because I have a whole bunch of iPad mini content coming up and some collaboration videos hopefully coming as well. And if you wanna see all those, you gotta make sure that you're subscribed and have the bell notification turned on so that way you don't miss it when they go live because you may miss it with the YouTube algorithm and whatnot. So until next time, don't forget to take it easy with some tea. I'm not in it, am I? Eh, kind of. My voice is gonna be in it? Not fully, maybe just this section because it'll be funny.